What is up you guys? My name is Lauren, but my friends call me Lo. It has been a hot little minute, hasn't it? I... <sighs> okay, it has been a minute and I'm not going to get into it because if you're watching this, you likely know me and likely you already know what's been going on. So, um, there's not a huge reason to address it right now. I definitely have so many plans for videos and for, I don't know, I feel like I, there's a lot that I want to address later on down the road. Um, for my friends and family, I have already talked to them about sort of how I feel about talking about certain subjects right now. Um, I feel like I'm not really in any place to do that, not only emotionally, but just like knowledgeably. I don't even know how I feel yet. There's a lot just going on. So anyway, I want to keep this video light. I want to keep it fun. I'm so excited to be filming today. I have a ton of new clothes I want to show you guys um, that I have impulsively bought. Retail therapy is a very real thing, and I don't know about you, but it kind of works for me a little bit. I mean, at least temporarily. Um, not giving advice here. This is not a therapy channel, although maybe it could be. We could we could get into that if we really want to. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get into some clothes. I was gonna call this originally fall winter haul because that was my first video almost a year ago. I was talking to my mom and my sisters the other day common theme in my life and I was like it has almost been a year since I posted my first YouTube video and I had all these plans and all these goals and I had all these ideas which I like still have but it's been a year and I've literally posted five videos so not doing great but we're gonna do better because you know every day is a new day and we're just gonna freaking do this thing let's do it First, I want to address the fact that almost all of this stuff is from Express. So, maybe I should just call this the Express haul because that's basically what it is, except for like one sweater from H&M. So, sorry about that. Hope you like Express. If not, there's plenty of places you can get a lot of things like this. So, the whole point I want of this to be is the whole point of this video is to like get ideas, kind of see like what I'm wearing, how you can wear certain things. You don't have to go out and spend a lot of money. Half this stuff you might already have in your closet. So I would just kind of take what I got and kind of use it in your own way. I don't know. I don't know. I just want to share clothes because I like clothes. So we're going to do that. Okay. Let's hop right into it. So hopefully I'm not out of focus because that would be annoying. First, Hmm. Order here, shall we? Okay. Can we not? <laughs> Let's just go real basic here. Let's start with basics and then we'll just build on the fun. Because then if I start with the fun stuff and then go with the basic stuff, you guys are going to click off this video. Even though the only people watching this are people who love me. So first, I got these camis. They are from Express. They were like on a two for something deal. So I got two of them. These are the best loved camis in the super soft wash. Um, they're so soft. I know you can't feel them through the camera, but they are. I got this pink color and this leopard print color. And you can wear them layered with anything this winter. Um, leopard print is huge, just so you know. I don't care where you get it, just get something leopard print. Um, and then this color pink is like basically a neutral now because everyone wears it and you can wear it with almost anything. You can wear it with tan, you can wear it with black, you can wear it with navy blue, you can wear it with purple, burgundy. I don't, you could wear it with cheetah print. Like you can literally wear this color with almost everything. So definitely get some shiz in this color. Um, yeah, I've already worn these with a couple different things. We can go through some ways like to wear them with high-waisted jeans and a leather jacket. You can wear them with a skirt and a sweater. Yeah, you can wear them a lot of different ways. So yeah, just get some of these. You can even wear them under like a sheer shirt. Like I have um, this sheer long sleeve thing. I'll just, I'll just try it on for you. How about that? So yeah, those are all options. Get some camis and some fun colors. I also got this leather skirt. 
Very cute, very scandalous. I got this for like 17 bucks. And I know that Express still has a lot of these in the store, um, but you could probably get them online too. They fit pretty true to size. Express's sizes are kind of weird sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. So, in their jeans, you probably wanna go a size down, unless you're getting the high rise denim perfect and then they're true to size. But if you're just getting a regular pair, go down a size. Um, in these other skirts, it's going to be true to size. So go ahead and just get whatever you wear, like in American Eagle or Gap or wherever you go. You can wear this with literally anything this winter. Tights, over the knee boots, wear them with that cami I just showed you and a jacket. You can wear them with a sweater. You can wear it with a body, body suits. Hello. So hot. Um, yeah. So wear them with anything. Get you a leather skirt, girl. Every girl needs at least one. I also, while we're on skirts, I got this denim skirt on sale. And these are probably sold out because I these were like on sale this summer. But I wanna make a point about shopping out of season because that is a rule I've lived up by. <laughs> I've lived by for years now because everything obviously is going to be cheaper out of season so at the end of the summer buy a lot of summer stuff especially things that you can layer in the winter like I bought this skirt and I can wear this with a sweater and over the knee boots all fall I mean it's probably not going to work super well in the winter just because I don't know denim skirts like I have a black one too and like that might work but this color is just like a little bit weird for winter um, but yeah, you could definitely wear it in the fall with like a cream sweater and like some tan boots. Definitely doable. But yeah, definitely look in the off season and buy the things that you know like are basics. Like things that aren't going to necessarily go out of style. Like stay away from fashion colors, maybe, unless it's like your favorite color, then go for it. Um, but yeah, just get like your denim skirts and your body suits like tank tops that you can wear under sweaters and then come at the end of winter get your cardigans get your like plain black sweater get some stuff that's like velvet or something fun that you know you're gonna be able to wear next winter as well um there's my tidbit next i got this bodysuit for four dollars four dollars because that's just how we do and this is super cute on I actually bought it to wear with that denim skirt um, which is definitely like not a winter outfit whatsoever but it wasn't winter yet you can wear this with high-waisted jeans you can wear this with skirts as I was saying bodysuits are so versatile it is kind of thin so throw a sweater on over it throw a leather jacket over it. you know the drill just layer that's a great thing I mean people can say what they want about winter and fall. I get that it's cold. I get that it's not fun. And I get that we get really pale. I feel you. However, fashion in the fall and the winter is so much more fun. You just have like all your options open up to you in the fall and the winter because you can wear all of your summer clothes over again, but layer it with new things. You can layer a flannel and a t-shirt and a leather jacket. You can layer a cute tank top with a zip up hoodie and a leather jacket you can layer all of that with a denim jacket like, there's just so many layers add a scarf add a different hat like the possibilities are just endless and i feel like my whole closet like is a new entity when it gets colder outside so look at it that way i also got this sweatshirt um pretty basic but it's so soft it has like this little cut out shoulder detail, super cute. And yeah, we're not gonna go super in depth with this, but it's cute and it's fun and it's comfortable. That is the key. Also, when it comes to like basic sweatshirts, you can go to Walmart and get a sweatshirt or you can look around with something with a little bit of flair, just kind of like up that game a little bit. Um, so you're not feeling like you're just kind of like in a frumpy sweatshirt. That also lends itself to like wearing a statement necklace or statement earrings, tucking it in. You can wear that with like a denim skirt. You can wear that with like um, a simple A-line skirt and tights. So yeah, just think outside of the box. Another like basic kind of boring thing are these high-waisted leggings from Express. They have this like little seam running down the middle of them. You probably can't see that because my camera doesn't have autofocus. <laughs> and um, yeah, so 
they're black leggings, but they're high waisted and they're really thick and that seam kind of gives them more of a dressed up look. So I feel like I can get away with wearing them with like just a sweater and some boots kind of like more as pants. I mean, I know that everyone's over the whole like leggings as pants thing. Everyone does it. I get it. But I feel better because I do work in the public all day and I have to look put together that, um, these are like thicker and I just feel like it's a good staple. All I had was like really thin <clears throat> leggings that like show your ass when you bend over. So, um, yeah, another staple. I just got some jeans, but these are those denim perfect jeans I mentioned earlier from Express. They're also super high waisted, which I love. A high rise jean, you can never go wrong with a high rise jean. I'm wearing one today. See, yay. Like I'm wearing this sweater, but I can even wear this little tank top with it and you have no muffin top and it's great. I have people coming into the store sometimes looking for low-rise jeans and I'm just like when are we going to be over this low-rise jean kick like I get that if you were born in the years like 1965 to 1987 um, that, that's like the cool thing, but you need to get with the program because high-waisted jeans cover everything. They're comfy. You can like tuck that little roll of fat in when you like sit down at dinner. And then like, I know that, you know, when you eat a lot, like your stomach gets all bloaty, but that's what zippers and buttons are for. Just undo that shit. So you're fine, but it's not worth walking around with your butt crack out and your muffin top hanging out. It's just not. So take it from me. Get you some mid-rise or high-rise jeans. And these are like a dark wash, which obviously, if you don't have any dark wash jeans for the winter, you may just want to save up that coin and get you some get you some dark wash jeans because you just need them for winter. I got this fun little t-shirt. It says, I've tried running, but I keep spilling my wine. <laughs> I'm usually not into graphic tees, but there are two things in life that I enjoy. Um, well, <laughs> there's many more things in life that I enjoy, but two of them are running and drinking wine. And unfortunately, I like drinking wine more, and I have been doing more of that than running. So, um, I thought that was fitting. The next thing I got is this sweater. Um, I have a lot of sweaters over the years. I've incurred a lot. Um, but one sweater I don't have is a cream one. And I got this one to go with a pair of pants that I have yet to show you, but I'm going to insert a clip of them together. So it's going to be fine. And you'll understand why I got this sweater. It has this cute little like braided detail on the back and it's really soft. So yeah, and I got it on sale for like 20 bucks. Also, another piece of advice from me is to sign up for your favorite store's reward. Sign up to your favorite store's reward programs and like make a junk email for like just those emails that come from stores because I know they're super annoying and they get like really overwhelming and who looks at those every day? No one. But like, for example, clearly I love Express. So I know what's going on there and the other day they had this sale going on and it was buy one get one for nine dollars and ninety cents and then you could use coupons on top of that there was a special coupon going around in the text alerts that was a hundred dollars off two hundred and fifty dollars let's do some math here if you buy expensive items like these sweaters the pants that i got i got this pullover thing which i took back i'm sorry so i'm not going to show you that but it was really cute and really soft i got all this stuff and I only spent $180. So if you need these things, watch out for those kind of sales, stack your coupons when you can and play it smart. I'm not saying go out and spend $400 because literally no one can do that. I shouldn't have spent $180, but here I am. It's fine because I'm not gonna do one of these hauls for a long time. We're gonna get off this train after we ride this out for this video. And then we're not gonna do this again for a while. So. Just take you a moment, take you like a, a piece of your paycheck, wait for a good sale, and go out and buy that shit that you deserve and that you need. Okay? okay. Next, I have these pants. I just want you to know that these pants is what sent me. My little sister thought it was necessary for me to correct myself and tell you guys that I know that it is R sent me. Proceed. On my downward spiral of unnecessary spending the other day. 
prompted me to buy almost all of this stuff. So I wanted these pants and I was like, oh my gosh, I can use this coupon. I can get all this other stuff that I want. But really all I wanted was these pants. So what happened? Instead of spending $60, I spent $180, but we're not going to talk about it. These. These are super high rise, wide leg pants in a burnt orange. Now, these are exciting because you put these on and you just feel like your mom in the 70s and it's just very invigorating it's fun it's exciting and i just love this color now i do have this weird hang up with these pants that because they're burnt orange i can only wear them in the fall i'm gonna try to get past that because that's stupid and i can wear these in the winter right like tell me i can wear these in the winter because i'm gonna be really sad if i can't luckily if I decide that I can't wear them in the winter, these work perfectly for fall and spring. Because I can wear these with like crop tops and like fun stuff and like little knitted tops and you know, like make it fun with like open toed wedges. So like, they'll work, but I'm hoping I can get all year round use out of these. Although I, it would be helpful to have them in like a different color. So Express, if you could do that for me, that would be great. But yeah, I bought these to wear, or I bought these. These are the pants I've, no. These are the reason I bought that cream sweater. So here are some clips of me wearing these high rise wide leg jeans in a few different ways. So when you guys go out and buy some flare or wide leg, there's a very big difference between bell flare and wide leg pants in which I will insert here because I did not just buy these bell flares, but I just wanna show you how they fit differently. Anyway, Express did just get Bellflower jeans back, so that's exciting. So if you like the ones that you just saw, you can go and buy them. Not the exact ones, but ones that are a lot like it. Next, I bought this sweater. This is kind of basic. Um, it's not that exciting, but it is this cute little striped sweater. It's very soft, and it looks super cute tucked in. You can wear it with black. You can wear a fun like statement lip with it. Um, it's just fun, and I can wear it to work really easily and... I don't know, I had my eye on it for a really long time, so I just decided to get it. Next, I got this cape. Next, I got this cape. And this is another exciting item for me that I probably like didn't need, but I have gotten a lot of use out of. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me wear it at least five times already in the same week span. So that's exciting, and at least I'm using it. I bought this because I envisioned, like as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I can wear that so many different ways. You can wear this with leggings and a t-shirt and just like look like a bum, a cute bum. You can wear this with a leather skirt and like this cute little tank top. You can wear it with like a deep bodysuit and like look like sexy, but it's like, hey, it's still winter, but I'm like still hanging out. I'm still here kind of thing, you know? And so, yeah, I was just really excited for this little cape and they have a red one and I really wanted the red one because it's very like little red riding hood and fun but I was like I'll get way more use out of the black and the white one so I was trying to be practical here because that's what I'm good at I'm practical then I got this dress I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep this it's like a sweater vest it's like a sweater dress and it has like a little bit of a bell sleeve and it's just like this little surplus top and you know, whatever. You can wear it with black tights. I thought it would be like a really easy outfit for work. Um, it's really soft and I don't really have any winter dresses, so I probably will keep it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to decide. Oh, I got these shoes. They were so cheap. Um, I used to like feel really weird about like backless loafers because they always made my feet look really weird. But then I decided I don't care. So I bought these because they were like $10 and these are super cute for like winter, you know, just like winter days. And you can, I mean, I guess you could wear these in the summer still, but I bought them mostly for fall and winter because I feel like, excuse me, I felt like you could wear these really easily with like a cute cream sweater and some jeans you can wear it with anything it's not that hard they're nude neutral shoes and it's just a fun way to like spice up your outfit just a little bam just a little spice just like a little bit of like you know uh so you know it's exciting and if i say exciting one more time i'm gonna be so mad i feel myself acting sort of like Emma Chamberlain, but she's just such an inspiration to me that it's just kind of rubbed off. I watch her videos all the time and I just think she's so funny and 
I just really like her. So if you notice that, I'm sorry and shout out to her because she's so funny. What else? Oh my gosh, I got the cutest toboggan from Walmart for $6 and I feel like I need every color. Please hold. Tell me why my hat looks like a literal smurf dad. If you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you also probably see me wear this at least eight times and I just really love this toboggan, it's so cute. Yellow never looks good on me because I'm blonde, but there's just something about this like orangey toned gold yellow that like doesn't totally look like shit on me and it was really exciting. Walmart has literally like 11 to 15 to like nine different colors and I think I'm gonna go back and get more because they were only six dollars and they're just really comfy. They're like that chenille material. Anyway, I love it and highly recommend. So. I have a grand finale for you guys and I bought this dress to go to this like charity event thing which was very fun and um yeah was it worth spending so much money on the outfit and things leading up to that event I don't know because I kind of got ghosted afterwards except not ghosted but sort of and like I I don't know like sometimes that's just like how the cookie crumbles and it's okay because you know like on to the next thank you next so yeah I'm gonna show you this dress and it's perfect I'm like I don't regret the dress at all because I feel like you can like, I'll be able to wear this forever like it's just that kind of dress so I'll be right back with that Okay, so I know on camera it just looks like a little black dress, and you're right, but it's velvet, and this adorable, like, little 90s neckline we have going on here. <sighs> Tell me why I'm out of breath just from, like, walking to the laundry room across my house and back. Like, I just worked out this morning. I should be in shape. Then it has, like, this little, like, slit here. I don't know. It's, like, so sexy on. Like, I'm not trying to call myself sexy, but... I am gonna try it on and show you because it's just a one get it for all of your holiday parties um we have it in a couple different colors at express like this teal color and velvet it's really beautiful but I do suggest the black because that's just who I am it's who I am in my soul okay so yeah that does it for the express haul I have one sweater from H&M that I really want to share because it's exciting oh my god I said exciting again Okay, I have one more sweater. It's from H&M and I'm gonna show it to you because it's too cute not to share. And it's just like, like when I think of the ultimate bulky sweater, well actually this is funny because two of my favorite sweaters of all time are from H&M and they are both like the perfect example of like the bulkiest, greatest, yummiest sweater ever, even though they're so different. But one of them is like a gray one, if you follow me on Instagram. Um, you'll see it because I've posted about it like three different times as well. And um, it's not currently in my closet because I just wore it the other day and I threw up and then I wiped my mouth with my sleeve. So it's being washed. But this is my dream sweater reincar- well, no. This is my dream sweater 2.0 from H&M and I, my thanks. And special thanks to H&M for just creating these moments for me that just make it really exciting to go into the winter season. So here it is. It's this big, chunky, cable knit, like mock turtleneck, dolman sleeve, but then comes back together, like chunky, so warm, like I can't even describe to you how good this sweater is. I wore it in Wisconsin a couple weeks ago and it was pretty chilly and all I wore was a tank top under and I was so warm like I didn't even need a jacket. Cause sometimes these cable knit sweaters are kind of like the wind cuts through them but they're like the fabric on this is so thick like the yarn is like so good that it just like catches all that wind. Anyway I'm really passionate about the sweater clearly. So yeah this is really cute. I wore it with some like cute boot cut jeans which reminds me I did not show you those jeans. 
it's okay I'll try them on with this and you can see them they're from Express they were clearance they were like $15 which is such a good deal for jeans y'all like you just need a bargain hunt like if you wonder like oh how is Lauren broke and dress is cute well a I'm broke because I spend money on clothes but two I dress cute because I bargain shop my ass off so like do that and if you want a video oh I should do a video on like how to bargain shop which like you would think it's not that hard but maybe it is I don't know so yeah that concludes my little winter fall random clothing haul I hope you enjoyed I hope that you're happy that I'm back and I hope you're excited because there's some things coming you're like um that's something that Garrett Watts would say and then I disappear for another year and maybe that will happen. Who really knows because life is so unpredictable. However, I don't plan on that happening and I'm really excited to continue to like make videos and do fun things and get on here because it truly makes my heart happy. If you can't tell, I'm like way too overzealous about this today. So I don't know. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't already, like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so when I do upload every five months you'll get the notification and then you can watch it and it would be so much fun yeah I've got to go vote now and then I'm gonna come home and film everything that was just clipped in with all my outfits because I can't do that now because I don't have time because I have to vote because you know what's important our future in this country because it's in shambles right now and that's all I'll say for this video like I said subscribe to my channel like this video give it a little thumbs up and you should definitely follow me on my Twitter if you do with that kind of stuff because I talk about that stuff quite a bit and I think it's important to be informed so follow me on my Twitter at low underscore 827 um, I'll see you guys soon Mwah. oh and my other social media also follow me on that my instagram and snapchat i snapchat a lot of random fun things so you should definitely follow me there at lulu827 and then my instagram is the same as my twitter it's just low underscore 827 so see you next time